Hello all and welcome, and I'm MGTOW Philosopher. And in this video, I would like to talk about pornography and how it is being censored and banned and prohibited in the West. And I would like to talk about one country specifically, and that is the UK, which has now entered a draconian era of porn prohibition. So I'd like to read this story talking about what I consider a major problem. Of course, I consider censorship or the attempt to censor information of any kind of problem. This article was first published in November 2016. The digital economy bill was granted royal assent on April 27th and has now become law. Very scary. And it continues to say, won't somebody please think of the children? A quote from a Helen Lovejoy from The Simpsons, a Simpsons line. Yeah, it's not a show I watch very much, but clearly a popular line from one of the characters. Won't you, won't somebody please think of the children? Isn't that always, a, isn't that one of the popular ways that the left likes to push things true, uh, through? You should, yes, you should be in favor of this to protect the children. We need to protect the children, yes. Interesting. I thought that was the parents' job when they were at home, but apparently it's become the government's job. And this line can now be used to accurately summarize the latest developments to the government's digital economy bill. The proposed legislation, which was first introduced to Parliament in July, has always aimed to enforce age verification on pornographic websites so that they cannot be accessed by children under the age of 18. Now, first, let me just add that this type of age verification could include things like needing to enter your personal information as well as your personal identification number to be able to access porn. That in and of itself seems to me highly problematic. I'm having to actually give over my personal private information to access information that I should be able to freely access whenever the hell I want to. Interesting. On Sunday, however, new measures were announced. See, this is always the way it, it starts. Yeah, it's just to protect children so that these websites can't be accessed by children under the age of 18. This, this is the way this stuff is. It's like a, a shoe in the door, okay? It's always like that. They just introduce a little censorship, a little censorship, and then they get you used to the new normal, and then they introduce a little more and a little more, and before you know it, you have no freedom whatsoever. On Sunday, however, new measures were announced. All websites that do not implement age verification will be banned in the UK. <clears throat> Very interesting. So, all websites that don't have age verification, I assume they're just talking about, wait, wait all websites. So, not just porn websites. <laughs> it's now, I don't know if the writer of this article uh, neglected to delineate and is talking about all porn websites, but the writer of this is actually saying all websites. Ah? So they're not making a delineation here. So I'm going to take this literally until I know different, and I'm not going to assume that the writer forgot to put in the word all pornographic websites. So see, here we go, people. Here we go. So they're using the protect children bullshit as a pretext to introduce identification so that they can access and know all the information that you access. So information they don't like, the information they deem dangerous to the state. Ah, they will know, oh, this idea is dangerous and we know that X, Y, and Z has been viewing this. So this is somebody we need to look at very carefully. Yeah, this is a very dangerous person. Uh, put this person in, in the file. Yeah, so we know who this person is. Very interesting, very interesting. So any website without age verification, any website, regardless of whatever type of content it has, will be banned in the UK. How interesting. So immediately right there, any and all websites that don't revamp themselves and include age verification software will be banned. So it's like a de facto ban of many, many, many different platforms, including porn, of course, but any website. 
The government is committed to keeping children safe by banning any website that doesn't put in age verification, I see, from harmful pornographic content. By the way, isn't that my job as a parent? If I'm a parent, uh, don't I get to choose what information comes in and out of my home, not the government? The government has no right to in any way decide what information I can or cannot access. And that is exactly what we are doing, said Karen Bradley, Secretary of State for Culture, Media, and Sport. So a woman in charge of culture, media, and sport. And of course, she sounds like a feminist because she's a control freak. She wants to control any and all information. Any website that does not have age verification, which could include your personal information to verify that you are over the age of 18. Because any, anybody can just hit a button that says, I am over the age of 18, but if you have to put in your personal information and your identification number, oh, well, then now we know who you are. Yes, and we know you're over 18, and we also know you're reviewing this, that, and this. Okay, so no privacy. Great. So now we can track all of your online activities as well. Wonderful. Only adults should be allowed to view such content. Well, then why is it being applied to all websites? Hmm, I'm taking that literally. It could be that the writer's an idiot and didn't throw in pornography websites. It said all websites, but I'm thinking it, the, writer, the writer got it correct, and it means all websites. So all websites will have age verification, meaning you must input personal information, and the government will always know what you were looking at. So they don't need to... Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't need to put in any software to track you. You'll tell them what you're looking at. Wonderful. The British Board of Film Classification has been appointed to enforce these measures. Mm -hmm. In short, what this means is that our privacy and security are now under threat, says the writer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you think? Fears abound about how age verification will work as being forced to reveal your identity before accessing porn. Okay, so this is very confusing. So maybe it just means all porn websites. Either way, I find this highly problematic because I should be able to watch whatever the hell I want and you shouldn't be able to say, oh, you can't unless you verify your age, okay? That, that seems like a small point, but I'm having to provide you with my personal information and tell you what I'm doing. A lot of people aren't going to want to do that. A lot of people aren't going to want to tell whatever watchdog is out there what kind of porn they're looking at, okay? A lot of people will be ashamed. So in a way, for a lot of people, it's like a de facto ban without actually banning it. How clever. So is being forced to reveal your identity before accessing porn will open the doors for hacking, blackmail, and potentially credit card fraud. Right, because you're having to give out all this personal information before you can access these websites. Beyond this, however, the governmental blocking of websites on moral grounds sets a scary precedent for our future. Yeah, this has nothing to do with legality. This has nothing to do with public safety. This has nothing to do with any venue that the government should be putting their finger into, stepping into. This is, has nothing to do with anything that the government should have anything to do with. Morality is not the role of the government. That's my job as the parent of my kids, if I had any, and other adults out there. This is just another perfect example of the government wanting to become father and mother to everyone as early as possible. Sets a scary precedent for our future, particularly considering the phrasing of the bill, which discusses adult sites with no exclusive emphasis on pornography. Yeah, right. That's, just, that's extremely vague. Extremely vague language. What is an adult site exactly? What is adult content? Who decides what is adult site? What is an adult site? So, it's, so this bill essentially isn't talking about just pornography. It's, not, it's talking about adult sites. Well, that could be almost anything that you deem too mature, too offensive uh, 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 for someone of a certain age to look at. Well, now you're ostensibly blocking people of a certain age from viewing certain information that you don't agree with and you can just classify it an adult site. Very interesting. You got to love how these politicians make these bills so vague that they can apply to almost anything. Isn't it interesting how they're never specific? They're always very vague. That's, you know, it's a bullshit bill. Blocking sites that don't comply could lead to tens of thousands of websites being blocked despite their content being perfectly legal. Well, of course. Of course. <laughs> 
and that will make everybody else comply. And then the government will know everything about what everyone is viewing on the internet. How nice. This is unprecedented in the developed world, says Jim Killock, executive director at Open Rights Group, an organization that aims to raise awareness of digital rights. Child protection is important, yeah, to try and shoehorn in, uh, essentially, uh, control of the Internet. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's important for that. But this proposal is disproportionate. Web blocking should be reserved for illegal and harmful content, of course. Of course. And this is de facto blocking by putting in all of these hoops you have to jump through. Oh, sure, you could access any website you want. Just put in your identification number here, your name here, your age here, your home address, and you can view it. And you have to do that every, every time you come back, of course. Really? I mean... Why don't you just make it as difficult as possible to do, but say you're not blocking it or uh, uh, stopping people from being able to access it? You might as well be banning it. <laughs> the development comes after the investigatory powers bill was passed last week, a move that the actual inventor of the actual World Wide Web, Tim Berners-Lee, marked with the words, dark, dark days. The IP bill passed with little public resistance. Yeah, of course, people have become sheep. Uh, they're more concerned with security than liberty. And it seems the government is relying on this same apathy combined with a British reluctance to talk about it and admit to watching pornography to pass the law. Right, of course. So in essence, uh, you don't have what's called freedom of speech in Britain. Not really, not like we do in America. It's not enshrined as it is in America. And they are counting on people being too ashamed uh, about watching porn to come out to essentially try and stop this bill be from becoming law. So they get this in the door with all those little tiny amendments in it to get other, in, in, in the future, other little uh, uh, additions that they want to shoehorn in, and they'll be able to do it too because, oh, we were able, we were able to do this, and we'll attach all these other uh, little things that we want to do in the future to it, and people won't uh, question it because it's attached to the thing about pornography. You know, nobody wants to talk about porn. All a bunch of puritanical assholes. We don't want to talk about that. No. As British citizens, however, we must protect our rights as wankers of the world. No one can protest the notion of protecting children. Though whether pornography is actually that damaging to adolescent brains is also up for debate. Uh, yeah, again, this is just like the whole argument back in the 90s and early 2000s about how video games cause violence. There was, there's no evidence. And in fact, now, of course, we know it's bullshit and there's tons of evidence to suggest that it actually reduces violence. And we know for scientific fact that it in no way encourages violence. But people just assume, oh, simulated violence, real violence. There's a correlation. So it must make people more violent. Ooh. What the hell are you talking about? You have no, you have no evidence for that. You're just connecting them in your head. And you're, and you're trying to use what you think is common sense. Oh, must be common sense. Common sense. That would lead to violence. Uh, no. <laughs> you idiots. This is the same kind of reasoning. No evidence whatsoever. But we dumb people with average IQs aren't going to do any research or studying or look at any statistics. We're just going to make an assumption because it seems like there's a correlation. Yeah, because one is it's sexual and we have children and anything sexual with kids is, of course, harmful to kids. Ah, well, you're kind of conflating like sexual activity with kids. And it, there's no evidence that sexual activity for kids is even harmful unless it's with like an adult or something <laughs> who's like raping them or abusing them or sexually molesting them or some shit. Otherwise, you have no evidence. You're just making moral arguments. Morality it should in no way play any part in lawmaking. Ah, but of course, the left has taken over, so anything that's based on feelings over facts is going to take precedent. Big surprise. It's also up for debate, but there are far easier, less draconian measures that can be implemented. Of course there are. Of course there are, but, you know... The, these draconian measure, measures are being implemented so that the government can get more power. And the more gov power that the government gets, the more it can get later on in the future because they've already set a precedent and they've already created a new normal that people are willing to accept. 
They take your freedom away inch by inch. They don't do it foot by foot. It's little by little by little. They get you used to it, and they just take a little and a little, and you say, ah, well, that's not such a big deal. Yeah, well, I can give that up for the sake of security. Mm, it's just a little bit, but before you know it, 20 feet have been taken. It's like you're, and you, you're looking, you're like, holy shit, how did we get this far? How did we get to this point? Well, you didn't do anything when they did this, that, and this. Oh, well, it seems like such a small thing yeah, at the time, but you add it all up, it's a fucking shitload. According to Ofcom, over 90% of parents mediate their children's online activities in some way. Yeah. Computers have things that like, you know, a block adult websites and such. And, you know, good parents actually do keep track of what their kids view. So, you know, that's my fucking job. It's not the government's fucking job, says Killock, referring to the abundance of parental controls yeah, that exist to limit children's Internet activity. Children need better education, not censorship, if we are to keep them safe. Oh, it's not about keeping them safe. That's just a pretext. The government could give a shit about keeping kids safe. They don't care about that. They just use whatever tool they can to appeal to your stupidity, to appeal to your sentiment, to get what they want, and to advance whatever they want, and you'll let them do it because, hey, security. We need that more than liberty, right? The majority of households in the UK are also childless, so enacting this measure across the board seems unnecessarily punitive. Not really. I mean, the truth of the matter is, this is about keeping adults away from porn, actually. That the, the government does not want adults to be viewing porn. They want you to be a good little soldier, go out, impregnate a woman, get her to marry you, make you go into debt, you don't save any money, just keep putting your money back into the economy, she divorces you, you spend even more money, she spends even more money. It's all a giant debt machine. You cannot escape that. No, no, they can't let you escape the debt machine. You have to keep putting that money into the system. We can't let you use porn as a substitute for a woman, no. No, 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 you selfish bastards. Go out there and get married. We're not going to let you use porn for that. And, oh, we're going to use children as an excuse to enact these uh, de facto banning laws on porn. Yeah, that's a good excuse. And we won't pass it by saying we don't want adults to watch because it's bad for them. But uh, we can get, get it across if we use the excuse cho- it's bad for children. Yeah, porn's bad for children. Yeah, they, they, you know, I mean, good God. Give me a break. First of all, there is no scientific evidence for that. I don't know how many of you guys out there looked at porn at the age of uh, 12, 13, probably most of you. What harm did it do to you? Give me a break. It's all a bunch of bullshit to control the adults. Ah, boy. To use a simple real-world analogy, this law is like forcing adults to hand over their ID, bank details, and be put on a list in order to enter a sex shop. Precisely. Precisely. It is essentially incorporating lots and lots of hurdles that people have to jump over and you're using the excuse well kids can get in too so we need to basically look at everybody because we don't know if you're a kid right nah that's idiotic this is what the left does they, they take some marginalized small group that is not the majority and isn't really in any danger and they drum up a bunch of fear about this group being uh, uh, in some way disenfranchised or harmed And then they say, we got to protect them. Yeah, they're like, what, what, five-tenth of a percent of the fucking population? But, oh, they got to be protected. So we drum up all of these new protections that actually end up interfering with the freedom of everybody, which was the whole point in the first place. Ay, ay, ay. Ridiculous. When parents could simply stop their children from reaching for the door handle to begin with. Yeah, yeah, it's the parents' job. This is like a total overstepping of the government's power. They're way overreaching, and people are letting them. People are letting them. And this is just the first step, people, because now that you've shown the government that you will let them, that you will be shamed into silence, and you'll let them take these little baby steps, they're learning. You're teaching them how to take away your freedom. The move is also idiotic because it's impossible. The government has underestimated the power of horny teenagers to bypass their restrictions. <laughs> VPN, VPN. And the law will therefore ironically punish the old, i.e. those who have never heard of a VPN, right, precisely, who might open themselves up to ma- malware in their efforts to find accessible porn sites. The issue, however, goes far beyond our sexual freedom. Of course it does. 
because you should be free to view any and all information you want so long as it's not illegal, like child porn and bestiality and shit like that, which I am 100% against, of course. Even if you don't watch pornography, you should be concerned by the precedent the government is setting to control and censor our online habits. Yes, including calling for age restriction on, restrictions on all websites. Although, again, th I think the writer of this article, uh, and, and don't anybody out there attack or blame me or get back to me, you're mistaken. It was, it's only porn websites. Because I'm just reading this article literally it was, as it was written, and the writer th the, themselves should have been more accurate in their reporting. It's literally, this article said, all websites will have age verification. Don't blame me for that if I'm mistaken. That's what the article says. I'm thinking she left out the word all pornographic websites. So, but I took the, yes, I did take this literally at first, and I still wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But whether or not that is the case is irrelevant because the government is trying to introduce controls on what you can look at. And they're using the excuse that, oh, well, it's to protect the, the children. Yeah, they suddenly care about children, right? They only care about children when they want to push through some kind of uh, a bill or law that is controversial, of course, because nobody is going to say, oh, we're, we're, we're not, we're against protecting children. Of course, nobody's going to say that. Of course, you have no evidence that this harms children in any way, but we assume it must harm children, right? Because sex is bad and evil when it's in regards to children. So, of course, anything that has to do with sex is bad for kids, right? Right, right? I think it depends on the context of the situation. If this bill is passed, uh, so yeah, if this bill is passed, I mean, it, 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 already, <laughs> it already has been, by the way. This is uh, reading before the fact. It was passed in uh, April, so uh, you should be concerned by the precedent the government is setting to control and censor our online habits. If the bill is passed, which it already has been, the government will have unprecedented abilities to block sites without a lengthy judicial process. And by making it illegal to circumnavigate these blocks, they will have greater control over us all. Ah, making it illegal. So even if you, if you live in the UK, for example, and you tried to circumvent these blocks, you'd be breaking the law. Hmm. Hmm. So illegal to view unless you give them your personal data. Hmm which means the government your personal data, which means you have to get permission from mommy and daddy, even if you're 60 years old, to look at a website. I see. In order to protect ourselves from a dawning era of porn prohibition and internet censorship, we must act now. Too late. The law's already been passed. The Open Rights Group has created a petition to prevent the censorship of legal content. Too late. Bill's already been passed, and you can also take it into your own hands and write to your own MP, too late, to oppose the bill. Too late. You can also protest in person or on social media. Mm, too late. You bunch of uh, uh, morons out there who essentially, yeah, you disagree with the left, but you don't stand up. You don't have a voice. You don't do anything to fight them. You just sit down and take it. Well, you lie down. You take it lying down and help by spreading news about the proposed laws. Most importantly of all, however, we must loosen our stiff British upper lips and admit once and for all that we are all wankers. Yes, everyone masturbates, men and women alike. But since we come from a puritanical Christian background and we're all stuck up about sex, we don't admit this by and large, and so we will let the government take our freedom away by using shaming tactics, and it's worked very well so far. This is really quite frightening, actually, and unfortunately, I don't think it's going to stop. Thank God we have the First Amendment in America. Sadly, many European countries, including uh, our own neighbors uh, uh, of Canada to the north, do not have such protections. They are going to be losing the most freedom quickest, and we're seeing it happening all over Europe, and other countries are proposing outright bans on pornography because we can't have the men leaving the plantation. You can't throw off that yoke and embrace sexual freedom. No, you have to be chained to that woman so you can supply her with resources so she can in turn waste your money and put it back into the system. Yes, you are a cog in the machine. You are not allowed to not be a cog in the machine, people. 
And that machine will grind you down and wear you out until you are no more. And then they'll replace you with somebody else just as useful. But you can't escape it. No, no. You cannot escape it. You cannot have your freedom. And if you try, it will shame you to silence you so that you don't fight back. And of course, you won't fight back because you're ashamed. It's a vicious cycle. And until you escape it, you'll never be free. But they don't want you to escape it. And they'll do everything they can to stop you from doing so. I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.